I've got a video for you guys today. Today I'm going to show you a few ways to use the She Modern Pigments. Um, I want to. I was playing around with these nails and just got to thinking that there's so many things that you can do with these pigments that a lot of you guys don't know. So we thought we'd experiment around with different things and try to mix up these pigments and show you guys how they can be used. Now, this glitter one here, I used the She Modern Glue Gel and just rubbed the glitter over it. Um, turned out really nice. It's really smooth. The black one that I did was actually the Gershon or Gershon Hybrid Gel, and I rubbed black pigment over top. It turned out well. Now, this yellow one I actually mixed with the cl Crystal Clear from the Nail Junkie, and it turned out really nice. It uh, turned out really super pretty. It's prettiest yellow. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat it here. But I was just playing around and thought maybe we'd do a She Modern video on how you could use these pigments. Um, I do want to show you um, another method that I like playing around with. Make sure to go check out my friend at Pumpkin Nail Station. She has a video for you guys as well. Um, she has a lot more colors than I do, so you may enjoy watching her video as well. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep you too long. I love you guys, and let's get into this video. I'm going to mix a little bit of the sheer blue in there. A little bit. And I'm going to put little bit of the sheer white in it. making sure that um, pigment is really mixed up in there. Oh, it's very pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, so let's mix in another one real fast. Like I said, and if you're only doing one nail at a time, you can just mix it a little bit. You don't have to mix the whole thing. It's totally up to you because sometimes I just like to do like an accent nail sometimes or if you wanted to create a whole entire set you know of course you need to make more okay so okay so I'm gonna put this gold galaxy twinkle in here in this poly gel let's try some of it
Okay. Let's put a little bit of white pigment in there. Let's try it. I'm just going to take the smallest amount, okay? I'm going to put a little bit of sheer white in there. No, no, just a little tiny bit. I'm just playing around and see what I can come up with. That's what we do, right? Mmm, so pretty. And if you wanted to add more, you could literally just blow. Let's see. If you wanted to add more, you could. You could just sprinkle a little bit on top. You can make litter poly gel. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. All right, guys. So at this, this is what it looks like after being cured. Got little sparkles in it. Really pretty. Turned out really great. So if you don't have these colors, you can make your own colors with the Sheep Modern pigments, the uh, these pigments, and the other ones. Uh, the other ones you have to cure, like the ones in this this kind of jar. All right. So the ones, as I was saying, in this one here, you you might have to cure a little bit longer because these are actually opaque. So it is going to be a little bit tougher to um, cure, and so you may have to cure it a little bit longer. I am going to go ahead and top coat that real fast, though. This shimmer is really pretty. Could have done a little bit better on it, though, but I messed it up. It was my fault. I stuck it to the bottom of the... So pretty. A little hard to see on screen, ain't it? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish curing that. But now that's pretty. I do like that one. 
and like I said there's the one with the acrylic so and that was with the ones like this the opaque ones and I put just a little bit of that the galaxy uh, twinkle and turned out like that and that was the hybrid poly gel that I didn't have any luck with and so I sponged or I rubbed the pigment on top and looks like a almost like a sheer poly gel looks kind of it's really kind of cool and then of course like I said you can I did the hybrid gel with um, glitter on top so you can do that so I am kind of doing a couple things in here for you guys a couple of different things you can do with it. I just want to give you different options and then of course there is that one that is the white one turned out really nice pretty opaque and it would have been just fine if I hadn't messed it up but anyways so anyways guys there's a few things you can do with the she modern pigments and the opaque pigments and like I said if nothing else if you love to freehand paint these are amazing with gel top coat and you can even mix these in that as well. You can mix any one of these pigments that do really well. Just make sure you're mixing it really well though. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, I love you all. Make sure to go check out my friend Pumpkin Nest Station and her video with G Modern. And I hope you guys have a blessed, wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.